Hey there everybody, my name is John Siskovich and if you remember last week, uh, I told you that I like to watch TV just for the commercials. When I see a piece of content anywhere, uh, I can't help but wonder how it got there, who's paying for it, who are they trying to reach, what message are they trying to spread, and is it effective at reaching its target audience? So I, I put out that uh, I wanted to share some website critiques here on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna do one real quick today on a friend of mine, uh, Farmer Brad. Farmer Brad has farmerbrad.com and he uh, has a homestead, he's raising chickens, he's selling some other products. He's got a lot of things going on and we're gonna talk about reaching and breaking down those demographics today and utilizing your farm website to sell some stuff. Um, and yeah, that's, that's just, we're gonna get into it and we're gonna start and it's gonna begin and then Paul's gonna cue the beginning. Nay, nah. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna take a look at a friend of mine, his website, farmerbrad.com. He is a homesteader raising pasture poultry. He's an inventor. Uh, he's taking some existing products and making new products out of them. He's a lot of things on this website, which we're gonna discuss. So first, we're gonna take a quick overview of the website uh, and get kind of my immediate take on it. This isn't a deep dive because I wanna keep this video a little shorter. Then we're gonna go over the uh, demographics, the, the whole point, what, it was, what is my first big takeaway from the website. Then we're gonna wrap wrap it up and give a little plug for next week. Really short and easy uh, today. So farmerbrad.com, we go to the home page, and the first thing I see is pastured poultry, non-GMO raised on grass. And that is wonderful. He is telling you exactly what he's got right there above the fold, beautiful photography, not a chicken being raised on grass, but what if you're a consumer, you wanna buy this stuff, you want your mouth to water, you wanna see, you got the corn on the grill, you got shish kebabs, you got those drumsticks right there, all crisped up and beautiful and delicious. And uh, with a shop now, call to action. Not just that he's doing it, but if you wanna do business with him, here's a button right there. And for me, that's just fantastic. Now, even uh, backing up just a little bit, uh, to the top of the page, there's an automatic chicken waterer sale. I'm not big on uh, either sales, like discounting your product, um, or having too much noise. So this on the top, I get the banner ad, but I would say that visually it's a little distracting. Um, then we get into the top bar right here. Well, I've got easy navigation. I have the branding. It's very simple. It's very clean. Uh, only stick to three colors. We got white, we got green, and we got black. And for me, that's great. It carries that throughout the site. That may be thematically what he got from the kind of website program that he used, um, and it could have been a design choice. Now, one thing that I notice when I scroll up and down is that this top bar, that navigation stays with me no matter where I am on the page. So when you go up to the top of the page, this is called the above the fold. If you think about a newspaper, when you fold it, uh, the front page of the newspaper on the newsstand, that is what is gonna grab you and take you, uh, cause you to pick up that newspaper and then continue to read it. Same thing on a website. The first thing you see is gonna be the first impression that people get. And then when you get below the fold, um, the navigation, if you wanted to go to another area, stays with you so that if you didn't, if you wanted to go to another area of the website or you were curious, uh, you could shop around uh, pretty easily. Underneath the fold, and here's where I get confusing, uh, confused, confused. Um, he's got a chicken waterer, uh, it's Farmer Brad's Best Deals, a chicken waterer, a whole chicken, and a live chicken, uh, where you can buy these three different things. And for me, those are kind of three different markets, and we're getting into uh, different demographics there. We'll come back to that. Top categories. I don't know what categories means. What do you mean by top categories? Is it categories of blog posts? Is it products that you're trying to sell? Uh, chicken, new items, technology, and Farmer Brad approved products. I will say because I dug around a little bit and I wanna make this video short, that uh, Brad's using uh, a technique where you're taking Amazon products and creating an Amazon store and creating affiliate links where you've created a store where you're not necessarily warehousing and fulfilling all the products. You're utilizing Amazon as a third party to uh, do marketing and earn affiliate sales on those products. So when you click through a bunch of these links, uh, they give you Amazon products that you would buy through that third party. Uh, latest news, uh, these are blogs that uh, Brad has written, blogs and videos, uh, comes down to products again, uh, and then memberships. <clears throat> He's a member of these various organizations. You will notice the American Pasture Poultry Producers Association is one of them, uh, big fans. 
And um, then on the very bottom, uh, we've got uh, contact us. There's a lot going on in this, this front page. And my immediate takeaway, and we're getting into, without diving into the various pages and the navigation and all the specific products, because I don't want to pick everything apart. If you are starting a farm, um, or a homestead or whatever business, you are in that lane and you're that business. If you concentrate on everything and try to be everything for everybody, you're going to have a difficulty servicing and standing out uh, all the, servicing all those markets and standing out in all of those markets. Because you're trying to make all of this work, you're trying to move a lot of things all at once versus a few things all at once. And if you can really concentrate and deep dive, like we only sell beer, in our brewery. We don't sell all these many different things. Like our, our core function is to sell beer. For me, on the farm, uh, pasture protein. I got pigs and chickens. It's easy to say, very straightforward. Um, when I go to Farmer Brad's site, and especially when I start to scroll, in the beginning, I think it's a pasture poultry site where they're my local farmer. This is where I'm gonna go for local raised chickens. And then the, the person who's going to buy a chicken uh, and cook it and eat it is a very different customer than the person who's going to buy a bucket um, to have a waterer to water their chickens and buy live chickens. So these, these might be the same demographic where you're selling live birds and buckets um, versus somebody, somebody who's buying uh, a bantam cochin and wants to love and care for that bird, maybe a little off put by having a packaged processed bird right next to it. That's just my, my opinion on it. We get into the top categories. Again, I think they're product categories. New items, technology. Are you a technology company? Are you reselling the technology where it's specific for farming? That becomes a little muddied to me. And to me, it, as I'm looking for something specific on the internet, uh, I want to go to a specific place and then find it. This may be subcategories of what you do, but in that case, I would feature it at other parts on the website and not have it there on the home page. It depends on where you want to make your money, where you want to focus. If um, cattle is your main operation, but you're just dabbling in pastured poultry, you should have a pastured poultry section, um, but really stick to the pasture raised cattle to begin with. I don't know why I pulled those off the top of my head. But all this to say, Figure out what lane you want to be in, what products you want to sell, and then put your head in the mind, in the head of the customer. Put your mind in the head of the customer uh, and think about where are they shopping, what are they looking for, and how are you going to reach them specifically. And it's not until you sell all the products that you want to sell on a regular basis, you're meeting demand, you're not worried about growth, that you then branch off in other categories. A lot of farms, when they're beginning will choose a lot of different things. We're gonna raise bees, we're gonna raise hops, we're gonna raise apples, we're gonna raise vegetables, we're gonna raise chickens for eggs, chickens for meat, pigs. This is what I did. This is a trap that I fell into where you're trying to be too many things for too many people uh, and it can just dilute your brand and then you end up struggling wondering which direction you should go in first. So my advice for Brad would be keep doing all the awesome work that you're doing but pick what area of your focus you want your business to be in. And that can be very different than your personal, um, your, your personal motivations or drivers. Where if you're very interested in technology, but it's not necessarily on brand message with you trying to sell chickens, that is something that you can do as a hobby, as a, a blog post here and there, but I wouldn't feature it as something you do. Focus on your demographics um, and tailor your website to meet the needs of the people who are looking for the things that you are trying to sell. But Brad, awesome, easy to navigate, mobile optimized, uh, has those menu that follows you. I would clean up a little bit of the clutter, focus your message, but your branding is on point, your colors are on point, your navigation is on point. Make sure you go through your website and don't have any broken links, broken images, or coming soon pages. Better to not have a blog or a web page than to say, oh, our chicken information is coming soon or whatever it is. I don't, I don't know because I'm not navigating it on this video. But Brad, good job. If anybody wants to check out this website, I will link to it in the description for this video or you can go to farmerbrad.com, send them a message and say, Brad, I saw you on YouTube. And quite frankly, I think John is wrong. You're doing everything amazing and I'm gonna buy all your products right now and make you lots of money. Um, next week, 
we are going to do either a product review or another one of these website reviews, depending on who gets back to me first. Um, but I enjoy doing this stuff immensely. If you want your website featured, if you want me to take a, a look through it and do a critique here on YouTube, uh, that is available to you. You can go to farmmarketingsolutions.com, scroll to the bottom of the page and fill out the Ask Me Anything form. Send me in your information and what you think you would like to get out of it and we'll see if we match up well enough. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and until next time, I will see you out in the field.